for you, the director of your next, Adam Wingard. And writer and actor, Simon Barrett. Yes, the man the tiger mask. All right, we'd like to bring up your cast. All right, Sean. And, uh, okay, we got Shawnee here. Wait, wait, okay. Okay, we got, you, you do it, I can't, I can't think about it. All right, Margaret Laney, who played Kelly, please come up. We have Rod Moran, Paul. Barbara Crampton. Uh, Wendy Glenn, who played Steve. And, um, oh yeah, Shawnee Vincent. Keith Alder, Jessica Louie, you guys have to come up here. At least uh, one of you, sir. Do not like to come up here to do an Keith Alder. Keith Alder, producer of All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. And Lynn Raku. And your next. Jessie Sean. Just, 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 yeah, I mean, you guys really whipped this film together really quickly. Um, and I mean, when I saw it, it still wasn't quite finished. Um, but it came from how, I mean... Well, basically, like, right after uh, Toronto last year, it was basically what we said in the introduction. It was one of those things where we wanted to immediately get a movie into midnight. And uh, about, like, the time that we were finishing up um, A Horrible Way to Die, I was, like, watching... Um, the original scream and uh, and just the opening scene in general. Like I was just like watching that and just thinking how awesome that was and how I wanted to do something more techno oriented and a movie. I didn't want to do a movie, you know, any more movies about like people being depressed and like having like drug problems and like stuff like that. <laughs> And so, um, you know, I told Simon, I was like, why don't we do a home invasion movie, you know, thinking that Simon's going to write something, you know, kind of strangers-esque where it's like one person in a house, you know, being afraid, but then, he, you know, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something smaller, you know, and just focus on, like, really building suspense, and then Simon writes his script, and there's, like, all these, like, scenes of people, like, at the dinner table, and, like, ten people, like, screaming and having to keep up, and I was just like, oh, god damn it, you know? <laughs> And Simon's response to always to this kind of stuff is, oh, you'll figure it out, you'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I guess I feel like there's been a lot of home invasion movies. And didn't you describe them as like movies in which people are, someone is tied to a chair? Like, like yeah. every year I see a film which is kind of just a guy tied to a chair, just kind of torture, humiliation throughout it. And there's never any kind of like interesting characters, or, it's, you know, or it's, it's right away people who you kind of want to die anyways. Right? <laughs> One thing that's kind of like, that maybe people don't know about how we work is, is um, when Adam edits, I stay completely out of the editing room until he has a cut that he's ready to show me, um, so that I can like actually experience the film and, and kind of enjoy it a little bit, because by that time I'm usually pretty like, close to nervous breakdown. Um, and similarly, like when I write, uh, I, I, I don't show out many pages until I have a complete script. So he kept being kind of like, is it scary? And I was like, there's, there's like, I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> but, well, okay, uh, so, all right. But I mean, it was mostly just like we, we didn't want to try to do, we didn't try to want to like out disturb like any of these current kind of home invasion films. Um, you know, we wanted to do something kind of different. Yeah, and, and, and for me as like a director, I felt like I'd done, you know, like stuff that was like, just like so super serious and, you know, so, and you know, always like filmed in kind of an avant-garde way. And um, with this film, I like wanted to take a totally different approach. And, you know, the experiment before was always like, you know, how can we, you know, create like this weird movie or whatever, you know, and try these like weird techniques and try to, you know, turn it around, you know. And with this film, like the experiment was literally like, can we make a movie like normal people, you know? <laughs> um, which meant that, you know, I wasn't going to be shaking the cameras or if you've seen Pop Skull, you know, I, I wasn't going to be flashing strobe lights into your face while somebody's <laughs> drinking a lot of cough medicine. Um, but, uh, you know, so, you know, we, we, we wanted to actually do something where um, more than just filmmakers could enjoy the movie, it could be more of like a, a broader appeal. I mean, with that said, it's still like a really weird movie. I mean, <laughs> 
So, uh, with casting, how did you find our heroine? A smart, sharp heroine. Or, uh, I mean, she's got a reason to be tough. Can I hear it from Sean's perspective? I mean, that'd be more interesting. What's your version of that story? That was the first time I just saw the film. So, because Adam and Simon just finished it like two days ago. <laughs> so, we weren't allowed to actually watch it up until now. They wanted to ex us to experience it with you guys and you have the live feed and the live audience. I actually, I don't know if it's because I was in it and so I know what's happening, but to me, that was a comedy. <laughs> that was straight up in your face laughter. I just laughed the whole way through it. Like, I mean, I don't know, it's hard for me to comment on it from like an audience perspective because I know what's coming and I know exactly what's happening, so at no time was I particularly scared in the sense of like knowing what's coming up, but then you guys, I know what was coming and then I still sat there and went, shit, <laughs> it's the sound effects and all the cool stuff that like really get you and like the way you can have it together was just awesome, so well, thank, thank you for having me a part of it. We're just going to have a little discussion here, which means it's just not mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd also like to pay each other next. Sure, do you remember, when, remember how, how did we cast you? You, uh, what? So, <laughs> to answer the question. <laughs> hey, oh shit. Um, no, sorry, that was way better than no, yeah, the answer that we're about to give, because it's really not that interesting. Really, we just, uh, you know, like, we, we had an open casting call. A lot of the people actually in the film, like A.J. Bowen and Joe Swanberg and Amy Simons, um, and even like Ty West are people that like I've worked with before, and you know a lot of them were in a horrible way to die. And so a lot of the people we 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 Simon wrote the script with them in mind. Um, and um, but like with, with in terms of like Shawnee's character, we had absolutely no fucking idea you know who was going to play that part. So of course we just did you know like you know basically a casting call thing. Um, and, uh, well, yeah. and 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 we saw a lot of people, and like every time it was like it. People were doing exactly what we didn't want them to do, um, which was like my biggest fear, which is like a bunch of uh, girls and like Daisy Dukes, like posing and trying to act tough, you know? And it was really important to me that we differentiate ourselves from, you know, like, because the biggest like pratfall in like these type of movies with like a strong heroine is that usually like from scene one, um, you know, the girls like posing and acting tough, you know? And that was something that like, we wanted to avoid from the beginning because you know it's just not very realistic, and it ultimately it just doesn't make you believe that she can um, hold her own. And when we saw Shawnee's audition, um, she just like had a subtlety to her um, that was like you know you know totally brilliant. And the and maybe it's the Australian accent, but she seemed tough automatically too. <laughs> no, it was the worst audition of my life, you guys. Like I walked out of that audition and I went home. This is my roommate, by the way. We actually love each other. <laughs> Um, and I came home and I went up to her and I said, I blew it! I wanted that part so bad and I walked in the room and I just, I don't know what happened, I lost my mind and I just was terrible. Meanwhile, we were like totally fucking blown away. Oh, <laughs> she's terrible. Oh, and if she's Australian, she'll just seem tough. <laughs> and how did you head for those who might not know, Barbara, the star of Reanimator? <laughs> I was running on a treadmill in Tahoe <laughs> and I looked at my phone and it had a message from my agent and it said, well, somebody just offered you a part in a movie called You're Next. I said, what? Who? I'm sort of in retirement. And he's like, well, if you want to make a movie, they want to hire you. I said, well, to play one part. They said to play the mom of this movie and it's a home invasion movie, 